Now, when you grow up, I want you kids to listen to Auntie Claire so you're yes. not like Auntie Tracy, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're we're in the kitchen, back to basics. Now we're going to make uh, roast chicken, which is such a good back to basic thing to do. Yes. Because there are so many things you can do with a roast chicken. You can make salad, you can make sandwiches, it can just be a side dish on its own. Right? Yes. Tons yes. of stuff. Yes. Put in pasta. You, yeah, keep going. Keep, keep going. going. More, more. I'm out. I'm yes. out. Yeah, okay. I'm done. So, <laughs> This, I've said this before, we probably have a roast chicken at least once a week yeah. in our house. It is our fallback. You Easy. know, you call each other on the phone, you're like, what are we having for dinner tonight? Uh, I'll just pick up a chicken. Roasted chicken. And so, you know, there used to be this idea that chicken was, you know, for Sunday dinner or whatever. It had yeah, to be a true. special thing. It takes time or you have turkey at Thanksgiving. Yeah. No, the, the thing is about a chicken is it's fast. You throw it in the oven, you forget about it. Mm -hmm. And then it's dinner and it's delicious. And it's done. So I'm here to tell you how simple it is. So this is my friend. Uh, chicken. He's cute. He's quite, I think he's, he's all right. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, I like them small. I like the little ones. Oh, you do, huh? So, bigger than three and a half pounds, you're just moving into another kind of game. Mm. So, keep it three and a half pounds or under. You could even do two small, like two, two and a half pound chickens right. at the same time, about the same time. But this is a three and a half pounder. So, are you saying if they're too big, it's just the cooking time is cooking so much is too and long. everything becomes And because they're so big, the, it takes longer for the legs to cook, which means it's more likely that the breast is going to dry out okay. and we've all had dried out chicken breast which that's is not, not where we're going we're going to juicy town okay we're going to juicy <laughs> flavor town so that's why three and a half pounds and this is just a standard chicken and I remember my mother used to get out this string and she used to do this thing with the chicken and yeah. tie it all together and then a little bow and <laughs> uh, yeah so no no you don't even you're need not to do, do that. that and in fact that that makes the cook time even slower because you you're all tied up like a ball when right. if you're all relaxed like this chicken is totally relaxed. <laughs> The air is just, think of it, you're in the sun, the air is circulating around you, you're cooking up nicely. So this okay. is it. Okay, so this is like, okay, the, uh, walk into the house, turn on the oven. Um, you want it about 350 degrees. That's mm -hmm. a really nice standard heat. Yeah. And then I like to put lots of oil on his little wing tips and right in here, tickle him in the armpit. He likes it too. Ticky, 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 ticky. Tee. And in here, you know, that little ticklish spot where your leg meets your whatever that is there. <laughs> <laughs> And now, okay, now second key, kosher salt. So I use really coarse salt. That's kosher salt. If you're using ordinary salt, use a little bit less. Okay. <laughs> I know. And then you want it to snow oh, down funny. on the chicken. Okay. Snowing, snowing. And you're thinking, Claire, stop my blood pressure. Yeah, I was kind of Yeah, you know that. what? This, this kosher salt, the reason why I love kosher salt, it stays on the outside. It makes it nice and lovely and crisp on the outside. And it doesn't permeate it's not into being the absorbed. meat. absorbed. Okay. Exactly. It's just going to give it a nice little crust. People will tell you to put salt on the inside I don't know why you're not eating the inside right. and I don't want to put my hand up in there to get the salt in there right now I got a, I got a toddler in one hand right I'm not playing Elmo with him on one, one hand lots and lots of pepper and that's it okay that is it this that's chicken done. goes into you're the done. oven if you want to get fancy and shove some herbs in there you go right ahead and you right. happen to have some festering in your fridge go for it right about now the other good thing about using three to three and a half pounds it's gonna take an hour an hour and 15 minutes maximum. Yeah. And then you can just, like, you don't even have to think about it. Don't get your thermometer out. Smart. You know, just, and uh, this is this is a tough one. This is a tough lesson for me to learn. Okay. How do you know the chicken is done? How do you know? Me. How do I know the chicken is done? Experience. Yeah. Yeah. Roast a chicken a week for a month, and then you'll you know. You will know. And then you will know. You will know. But if you want to be super duper safe, you can get the thermometer. Like, use a thermometer. Yeah. You stick it into the thick part in behind. Yeah. And, you know, my mother would tell you you could wiggle the leg, uh, and, and that's fine. And But really, Roast it an hour, rest it 15 minutes, okay. and it's going to be beautiful. So like hour 15 in the oven, take it out, 15 minutes of rest, an yeah. hour 30, you're done. Yeah. This is something that uh, you can do once yes. a week. And then you take All right, the, now what are we going to make now? Well, then you take the bones, and yeah. sometimes you have, oh, uh, we're making you stock, have one from we? last week. Yeah, this is a cooked chicken carcass. We just took the bones, threw them in the freezer. Yeah. Maybe you have two. You throw them in, and then this is the other favorite, very favorite, very easy recipe I love. No knife. That was easy. I didn't, I'm not even going to walk, that. I'm not wow. even going to peel those. Okay. A, I know this is where you feel like, rah, rah, rah. I like yes. it. <laughs> if you don't eat your vegetables, I will kill you. <laughs> and so then beat you I, with a carrot. I wish I could beat, beat that, like, break that in half with my hand. But <laughs> my other trick with that is I'm not even going to peel it. That's going to go in bay leaves and peppercorns. Wow. Fill it with water. Put it on to simmer until you go to bed. Mm -hmm. Then turn it off. Leave it on the stove overnight. 
and then you've got chicken stock. Oh, that's good. So, so then you've got, not only did you have your amazing roast chicken dinner, but then you've got chicken stock. You can make chicken soup, risotto, whatever. Oh, yeah, I know, a ton you're a of superstar, that. superstar I am recipe. so impressed by this whole segment, especially your imitation of the chicken. That was my favorite part. That was so awesome. <laughs> All right, break time, more Thank coming up.